Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about Eddie Van Halen and the Arlick Aries G 2.1. You know, I was thinking about him passing away, and he was such a nice guy. I really think he was a nice guy. And, uh, you know, Van Halen was kind of a local band here. Michael Anthony lived in Glendora, where I live now. Uh, they got their beginnings. I know they used to play at this dive bar called Walter Mitty's back in 1976. I was graduating high school. My sister used to hang out there. I used to sneak in there. And uh, I remember after they played there one night, they went to my sister's apartment and David Lee Roth was wearing my sister's Afro wig. And that was the whole thing. You know, we're a rock star. Of course, they weren't really big stars then, but they had a following. But could go to a girl's house and just be a goofball and just put on an afro. I mean, that was such a great time for that kind of stuff back then. And, and uh, so I started thinking about them and I was thinking, I was wandering and listening to their music. And then I listened to uh, the Sammy Hagar, you know, and I gotta be honest, I don't know how you feel. You can put your opinions in the comments. Who do you like better? David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar? Cause man, I dig Sammy Hagar. So then I started, go and I'm supposed to be at work, right? No, I'm at home listening. So I started listening to mantras. Boom, I start wandering into that. And then I said to myself, yeah, but I'm really kind of not even a huge Van Halen fan. I mean, I really kind of like the doors. So I started doing that and then my phone's blowing up and I'm getting text messages. Where are you? And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You know, Lou Reed, rock and roll animal. Just give me a second. I got to hear with all these Jim Jims in this town. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my God. And the thing is, I would never be able to have that fun if I didn't have a streamer. You know what I'd be doing instead? I would be getting up and grabbing that CD to play one song and then going and sitting down. I mean, and I've got customers that are still doing that, and I think it's because they're afraid of the technology a little bit, and we'll talk about that later, but don't do it. You are missing out on so much stuff. You're gonna miss out on stuff that you loved when you were 16 that you're never gonna listen to again the rest of your life if you don't get a music streamer. If you don't get this one, get another one and start living your life again because you can end up like Eddie Van Halen soon enough. We all will. Don't miss out on this trip. You know, I have to say something about, I love using Rune and the beauty of Arlick products is they let you use Rune because I love the writing that Steve Erlewine does and these other people that write for them. But if you don't wanna pay for Rune, if you don't like Rune, you gotta make sure that you get a product that has a great app. And Arlick has done that. And why do I say that to you? I've got a streamer from another manufacturer in the back. I, have, I think I have six of them. And it was a $4,000 product. We forgot that we had them, literally. And they sat here for years. And I said, get rid of them. So he sold them for some stupid money for like 25% of what I even paid for them. We sold them for like $600 each. I'm good, they're gone. Then the phone starts ringing, then the complaints start coming. And you know what? The manufacturer took the app off the app store. If you buy a streamer, buy it from a, com a company like this because that's not an and a company. Don't buy them from a company that says, oh, we make amplifiers and uh, streamers, or we make amplifiers and uh, this network music player, because you're not gonna be able to get all the exciting things that are happening. Lightning DS is an amazing app. It works with iOS products, that means Apple, and they have improved it. When it first came out, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but the thing is they've listened to their customers and they've refined it time after time after time. And it's just so uh, wonderful now, the way that it flows and it's got great information and you can create those playlists and create your own little radio station and just have all this tremendous fun. But the other thing is this, think about the people that bought the original Arlick Altair years ago. They're benefiting today from even though they bought their product years ago. They're getting all those updates and they're able to take advantage of services that didn't even exist back then because there's services that have come out recently like Cobuzz, high-res music, and it's so much better than CD. And there's other new services that will be coming down the pipe. And I know for a fact that Arlick is always on um, the cutting edge. 
Now, what's the deal with the G2.1? If you've got an Altair G2, don't worry about it. You've got something that is unbelievably badass because they've always believed in the things that I believe in, parts and engineering, parts and engineering. They've always been ones to go out and make sure that they drop the noise floor. Don't worry about more power. Drop the noise floor. That's what dynamic range is the difference between loud and soft. So if you have a G2, you don't have to worry about it. Rock on, it's an amazing product. But what they did here is they increased, they looked at everything about it, everything from the feet to the case to everything to, to make sure that they could drop the noise floor. But it all starts here, the quad core processor. is capable of 37,500 million instructions per second. It's what they call the Tesla platform. It's a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor with two gigabytes of system memory, eight gigabytes of data storage. I mean, it is purpose built. Now, a lot of manufacturers that make these products, they will create the, the main PCB, but then they will piggyback on other people's processing uh, boards. And Arlec is one of the companies that does not do that. Something else they did is they added two femto clocks and that is super, super cool. One clock is for the USB out, the other one is for the other digital outs. So when you hook them up to your DDA converter, however you decide to hook them up, you're gonna have a rock steady connection. We're very, very low jitter and that's really important for the audio quality. The Aries G2.1 is a streamer only. So it will not work by itself, okay? This is designed to add streaming to your digital to analog converter because sometimes people have favorites. They want a DCS, I want a this, I want a that. You know, whatever it is you want, you gotta get a good streamer. And that is really what Auralic's secret sauce has always been. You know, we sell the Altair G1 and you might have seen my video on that. And that is an all-in-one unit that is, I, I think it's the biggest selling, one of the biggest selling products here at Upscale Audio, period, because it's such a cool piece and it's a very simple one piece. But for somebody that is like, no, I'm, I got a really super badass system and I, I have this D-Day converter and it cost me $50,000 or $100,000, whatever it is, or you got some, a DAC that you've fallen in love with, or maybe you're concerned that DACs are gonna change because they do, right? But streaming, you know, you want to get the best streamer, and that has been Oralic's secret sauce. And how can it be their secret sauce? Because first off, they don't use uh, somebody else's product and then just rework it. I mean, there are some people that will take computers or they'll take Mac minis and they send them off to a guy and the guy is gonna change a bunch of parts in it to try to make it sound better. I know that gig because I've had customers that did it. I mean, I think they used to do it more some years ago, and I think people have really wised up to it, that it's really kind of a, maybe not the best way to get things done. Uh, it's like building an electric car, right? So I'm gonna take a, a Ford Explorer and I'm gonna put electric motors in it to make it an electric Ford Explorer. No, buy a Tesla. When you start with a clean sheet of paper, you can make something that is so much better and that's what they've done. And what do I mean a clean sheet of paper? They're not taking another company's data uh, daughter card and plugging it into their main board. They have their own platform, the Tesla G2 platform. Now let's talk about the power supply. They did not use a switching power supply, just like in the other Arlec products. Some of the other uh, DDA converters or streamers that we sell are gonna have dongles that go into the wall. And we like to upgrade those oftentimes by using something called an S-booster. You get rid of the dongle. Dongles are, kind of bad news because they're switching power supplies and they just radiate all kinds of noise. So even with the Arlec Altair G1, they were using a linear power supply, a toroidal power transformer in that thing at its price point. Now in this unit, they have two of them and one of them is dedicated just for the control functions, just for the display, just for control. The other one is for the audio circuitry. 
Another way that they've dropped noise is uh, addressing something called galvanic isolation, and they have two galvanic isolators between clocking, processing, and transmitting circuits, right? Because you don't want anything, you don't want uh, noise to be reacting between these different parts of the circuit. The devil is in the details, and that's why when you start with a product with a clean sheet of paper, you're able to achieve that. Look at the feet. Each foot has six springs, and they're tuned to different frequencies to reduce the effects of vibration. I have never seen a product, a streamer specifically, that was built like this, where it has a heavy sub bass, um, and then inside of it, inside of this casing, which is an amazing casing, there is a complete copper inner case to shield it from noise. All of that noise, whether it's your refrigerator or your router, all of those things. Now, why is that so important? Listen, we tell people, typically we always tell customers that they want to hook their streamer up with an Ethernet cable. And the reason that you do that is because of all the junk that's flying around for your cell phone and from your router and, and everything else. Hooking up an Ethernet cable is the best way to do it, but I'm going to say something. When I checked this thing out, I compared the sound of the Ethernet to the Wi-Fi, and there was absolutely no difference. I have to applaud them, because now we don't have to worry so much. And some people, they don't want to run an Ethernet cable to their sound room, or maybe they can't. And then they have to get one of those adapters that they plug into the wall, and those can introduce more noise. No, get rid of it. This has dual antennas. You're going to put it right onto your network and it's going to be super, super easy and the sound quality will not suffer. Now, let's talk about storage. You can hook up uh, an external hard drive to this or you can put an internal solid state drive or we're going to do it for you. We will do it at no charge to you. We won't charge you any labor. We install them all the time into these things. So you want to use the correct solid state drive Install it internally. If you don't want to do that, you can use an external hard drive. You can also plug in a, uh, a CD reader, a CD-ROM reader into this, and you can rip using the software directly onto the hard drive. That's really, really cool. And it'll do it at its normal speeds. Now, if you get a, uh, a little hub for it, which is really like cost nothing, you can actually speed that up and you can take your CDs and you can put them on your high drive at high speed. Let's take a look at the back. You have an ethernet connection on the back. You have hookups for a hard drive. You have a USB out to hook up to your DAC. You have an L link, I'll tell you about that in a second. You have a TOS link digital out, a coaxial digital out, and an AES EBU out, and that's you know a balanced 110 ohm connection. Now, you also have a plug called an L-Link. That is for hooking up in the, uh, in the world of Arlec, and it is an HDMI cable that has two-way communications. So if you wanna go crazy and really, really not, and I want you to go read about what people say about this. I don't want you to take my word for it. Go read about the Vega uh, DAC and go read about the Master Clock. There are other products that work in this world of L-Link and see what happens to the sound when you add those products because it is unbelievable. So there we have it, the Arlic Aries G2.1. I have to tell you something, if you don't have one, I mean don't go buy a notebook computer or some Mac thing and try to make it work. Forget that, give it a slip. Get something that is built from a company that has online forums where people contribute and they tell them about their needs and wants and Arlick is a company that listens and makes changes because they want to make sure that customers are happy. Go to our website, contact, oh, and one more thing. I know that some, of, some folks that are watching this are going, I don't know how to do digital. If you contact us, we will help you. We cannot make your router work. I cannot have a, one of my employees do that with you. That part we can't do, okay? But if you've got a router that's working and then you need some technical support to buy this from us so we can help you get it online, 
Absolutely. My salespeople are not on commission. So whether they are helping you to make this work or selling a $100,000 pair of speakers, they're getting paid the same thing. And I want to do it that way because I want to make sure that you get good service. So go to our website, talk to my digital experts here, and we've got several of them. And if you buy one, you don't love it, you can send it back with no restocking charge. I promise you, at Upscale Audio, we're going to treat your system like it's ours. Thanks.